Hey there guys, what's going on? So, it is July 1st. It is the beginning of a new month with lots of plans to hopefully get lots of really interesting new stuff your way. Still trying to, uh, to fill up the cupboard and get the pantry stocked as we prepare to march on into July and into the rest and the disgustingly hottest part of the summer. But the good part about that is that you get to come inside, straddle your air conditioner for dear life, go in the shower curtain with the ice bucket on your head, come out and listen to some great tunes. And for that today, here we've got a conclusion of sorts. I've pretty much discussed this artist to death, whether you check out my YouTube review of his new album, you can go over to my WordPress blog, which is now in the little links up on my YouTube header, if you see those up there with like uh, Twitter and Tumblr and that kind of thing. I removed the Facebook fan page and put up the uh, the Twitter, or no, the, uh, the WordPress thing instead. So you can check that out on my professional blogging, music journalism, I'm going to be a professional page. It is the first thing you'll see, uh, which I think is one of my finest pieces yet. So of course, go and check that out. But I'm not really going to talk about much of the music, obviously, with that in mind, because I've really discussed it to death, but it's a lot to do with just how impactful I think this record is, just how mind-blowingly superb it is, and just how it's really one of those earth-shaking type of releases for 2014. So, like I said, go check those out. You'll get the, you'll get the skinny, you'll get the whole deal there. Uh, for today, we're going to do a vinyl unboxing to wrap this up. As I talked about in my scheduling video from last week, and I'm just uh, grabbing the last part because I was actually just listening to this record before I started to, uh, to film, to check it out a little bit, because this record finally dropped on my doorstep today, courtesy of my good friends over at VinylLoop.com. They are at www.vinylloop.com. Go and check them out. They were they were off the map and off the radar for a while, but they've come back these last couple of months with some pretty cool releases, some great new stuff. Uh, I've gotten the the great new War on Drugs record from them, the great Mac DeMarco record. I've gotten some some good acquisitions. This is my latest. I think they may still even have some copies over there. I could be wrong, of course, but uh, go check out see what they have. Uh, go check it out see what they have left of this this particular month's stock they've got some other albums on there too they had ye oak on there not long ago they got some great stuff and i wanted to make sure to snag this it meant it came a little bit later in the game it came a little bit later probably than everybody else's ordered through secretly canadian and dead oceans and all that uh, but it was worth it because i love those guys out there they do great they do a great deal they offer you free ship they offer extra items, all kinds of stuff. It's it's a can't miss. So www.vinylloop.com, check those guys out. They're absolutely awesome. And today, for this vinyl unboxing, we're going to wrap things up here for my coverage on Strand of Oaks with the album Heal. Just to go right back to, to it, here is the, the cover. If my, hold on just a second, there we go. My camera was screwing up there for a second. There's the cover. And here is the back side with all of the song details there, Gasha 97, Heal, Same Emotions, Shut In, Woke Up to the Light, and then JM, Plymouth, Mirage Year for Me, and Wait for Love on the B side, courtesy of 2014's Dead Oceans, all very standard there. Single fold, pretty much what you would expect in that regard, nothing overly durable or overly flimsy, right in the middle, very solid, which is where I usually operate. And on one side here we have this picture of Timothy Showalter, Mr. Strand of Oaks himself. Basically, songwriting credits, uh, you know, songs written by so-and-so, produced, where it was produced. The um, uh, thanks to his wife, family, Jay Maskus, who plays lead guitar on Gosh in 97. Uh, Christian Madsen, the tallest man on earth, who he toured with for a long, a long time, really learned a lot of stuff from. And uh, this record forced me to deal with the last 10 years of my life, from joy to horror and everything in between. There will never be enough space to thank all that have supported, listened, encouraged, and inspired. Tim. And uh, I think that's definitely all the more reason to, to check out what this record entails, because it really is, is pretty unbelievable. So there's that. And then on this side, again, my camera is screwing up. Let's get back there. Thank you. Uh, love the GoPro app most of the time, but not all the time. 
Uh, and here are the lyrics for all the songs, which is very nice. Like being able to to have that, of course. Pretty much all solely played by Timothy Showalter on almost all the instruments. He's joined uh, sparingly by Jay Maskis for lead guitar on Goshen. He's joined by Steve Clements on drums and synths and things across the board. Just spare arranging, but he does a lot of this whole thing himself, which really speaks even more volumes to just the, the length and breadth and just unbelievable nature of this record. And inside, we have it on special edition clear vinyl, courtesy of Dead Oceans. Very nice. Little label there, kind of a frosty clear as opposed to the see through clear that I think I last saw on the 10th anniversary Lost Highway uh, uh, reissues for Ryan Adams' Gold and a few other records, which were not so good. But sounds pretty good, pretty solid. I know people don't usually like color vinyl, especially clear, uh, but I've had no problem with it so far in just the first couple of listens I've managed to take today. And it has great overall quality to it. I'm very happy with that. And just for a little bonus this time around, it came with a nice little little tour poster that maybe will go up with, uh, with your old Bob Mould here behind me. And we'll go up there for any future videos and stuff you may see or, hear, see, here, see or hear or just see here on my channel in the future. So that is it for my brief little vinyl unboxing for Strand of Oaks with Heel. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have already checked them out, I hope you enjoyed my video review for Heal, as well as the uh, the WordPress version of it that I did. I did a complete. They're two completely different pieces, so I highly suggest that if you're interested or you're just curious to hear a background on a very interesting record, I highly suggest to check them both out. It is one is not a rewrite of the other. They are in vastly different territories. I think even the WordPress blog version of it is even better that I created. So if you haven't just go check those out and you'll be very, I think you'll be left coming away very impressed with it. So keep it here guys for much, much more soon to come. Uh, keep subscribing, keep viewing, uh, keep stuff going here at the channel. I'm very, very impressed by just everything that's been happening the past month. Let's make this month even better. Thank you so much for supporting me. It just gets me all the more fired up to deliver you guys more great coverage, great content and stuff that I really believe in and I hope that you'll believe in too. So keep it here and stay tuned.